Hi, this is Abdulaziz Khan with another video. Uh, basically, someone asked me about how to prepare a, a equipment or radio file or its antenna file uh, from scratch. So, I thought that in place of answering directly, I should make a video so that it will be beneficial for everyone. So, first of all, let me make a disclaimer that. Uh, I suggest that you get a file from the equipment or antenna vendor because uh, whatever good file you make, I mean you cannot make a file which is exactly the same as the original equipment manufacturer's file. And also it is a bit of uh, uh, lengthy and cumbersome process, not very difficult, I mean very easy. But still, I will suggest that because you may miss something or you may put something wrong and uh, it will have a very wrong impact on your project. And let me just go through the basic steps and let me guide you. And in the meanwhile, I mean, while telling you everything, I should try to tell you what are the uh, issues i mean why should you should not use it even though personally sometimes i also make a file but uh, uh, that is for a you can say a kind of only testing or a kind of only getting a know how of something it's not for a actual project or actual network in actual networks we use the original files only so <coughs> I mean, after the disclaimer, this is the Android uh, program. Let me start it once again, just to be a bit more, uh, I mean, giving you everything from the start. So, this is how you open the Android. Now, <coughs> this is the equipment file. If you see here, it says path loss 5 radio data file. So radio is the equipment. So generally, what you need to put here is um, not a lot. I mean, you need to put what kind of frequency ranges it will be able to get. You need to tell about what are what how much transmit power it can give you, and so on so forth. I mean, where with very minimum information, it can start working. I mean. If you just want to test or if you, if you just don't have any file and you just want to start doing something, you can start it with very, very less things, I mean, not too many things. But if you, uh, let me open some actual file for you. So, for example, this is IPASO. We open one file, any random file, I mean. Don't go on the vendor or anything, I mean, just uh, take it as an example. Now, if you see that they have filled uh, kind of many things. I mean. uh, so, and I told you just a minute ago that a working file can be used with very minimum things. So what is the, I mean, what is the caveat or what is behind it? So basically, if you see on the surface, I mean, for example, you don't put, a, you put any manufacturer name, but and the model name, but you don't put a lot of these. For example, you don't put the emission designator. So what will happen is that path loss will not be able to know that what kind of spurious emissions or what kind of things it can generate apart from the normal uh, normal power so for example uh, like if you see here as well they have put vx power minimum and atpc okay but they don't have put any options here so but if you come here, then for this 10 for minus 3, 10 for minus 6, and then residual bar and this SES bar, they have put almost a lot of things. 
but if you come down here you will see that they have not put the noise figure and i mean it you can say that a lot of things they also have not put and which this is right as well i have seen a lot of manufacturer whose radio files are quite uh, not well populated and some vendors they have uh, radio files which are very well populated so a very well populated um, file gives a lot of power to your uh, tool because for example uh, let me tell you one more thing like if you go to curves you see that the tx emission and rx selectivity has been shown here and this is something like interference so interference for interference also it has provided some signature curves so they have provided these three signature curves so assume that you are trying to make some um, file from scratch and you are and you somehow because you can make these as well i mean for example if uh, i go back again and i say that okay i want to make a new one so you can you can make this by yourself so so you can uh, uh you can make any of these curves and you can fill it as per your uh, for example tx emission or rx selectivity okay you put anything here and anything there so uh, i mean what i wanted to tell is that i mean you can make a link a radio or a antenna file but the problem is that will you be able to uh, put everything correctly if yes then okay you can make it you can reproduce and you can uh, for example someone send you the screenshots and uh, from those screenshots you can recreate or you get a kind of very good uh, data sheet from some vendor but if you can get all those things then i think you can get the equipment file as well and if you cannot get any of those things then whatever you will be making it will be depicting a wrong picture so what happens is that if you put a wrong for example let's again go back to an actual uh, antenna now if you see here it has rx selectivity now you can see that the actual radio it has a very low gain at 30 4 megahertz and then after a bit of more megahertz it has quite good gain i mean so it means the actual radio is suppressing uh, some frequency but some out of band frequency it is again enhancing so assume that you are doing a interference analysis and you assume this to be a normal curve like for example i cannot draw on it but for example we assume this to be a linear curve you just make it like a single line like here but that single line should not be reflecting the actual um, response of the radio it should be giving a very wrong picture i mean so that is why um, i do not uh, encourage anyone to make the files by himself but yes again uh, as i told you that even you can draw these curves you have just have to give these values and you can draw these curves as well and then uh, you can put these values i mean you should know that what values goes where i mean like for example you you should know that how much modulation your uh, intended radio 
what is frequency range what is low frequency what is the high high frequency and then what is the transmit power if you have these uh, values for minus 3 minus 6 then you can put these values as well if you don't have these you can put any one and it will take only that single one as i told you that even this radio also don't have a lot of uh, other valuable numbers so i again saying that it can be made i mean you can make it so um, let me guide you about uh, this tool i mean so it has a file option you can open the existing file you can save the file as ref or rsd rsd is a binary and ref is a s key so these are this is the same file i mean only the saving format is different and uh, some programs they use it in one format some in other format so um, path loss generally use uh, rst file and uh, from here you can start a new file then what kind of thing you are to make currently it is in v5 radio data you can make a v4 radio data you see that this this is now in a different way i mean uh, only you can put one number and this number is a bit of uh, how it what should be i mean how you will interpret it and if you let me show you again if you see here v5 this is adaptive modulation data you can put uh, adaptive modulation data right now it is not aligned because uh, here we see that this is a conventional microwave radio if i make it uh, adaptive modulation radio then i can put adaptive modulation data as well at on which modulation how much throughput how much tx power and whatever so if you are uh, one thing that i feel that sometimes it is useful is that you have a equipment file but you don't have the same equipment file for adaptive modulation and you want to use it as an adaptive modulation file then you just uh, change it to adaptive modulation and put this data for adaptive modulation this one is i can say that this is a kind of uh, uh, you can use this to uh, <clears throat> get a temporary solution or a way work around for your problem but uh, still i mean even for adaptive modulation still i will suggest that try to get the actual uh, files so in v4 there is no adaptive modulation so we don't have that button same goes for antenna file as well i mean you can make an antenna file as well antenna file is kind of more easy i mean you don't have to put anything almost you just have to put that uh, high frequency low frequency and gain with only these th three things it will start working but let me open a norm uh, let me open a antenna file as well just for uh, so we can see an antenna so we can see that they have put a bit of more things but technically they have put this low frequency high frequency and gain and this thing also yes uh, without this it will not work that this antenna is uh, 0.3 or 0.6 or 0.9 or 1.2 or whatever so these two three things you need to put and you can make an antenna file but again you see that this antenna file also has some signature curves and you need to put four type of curves because uh, for antenna this is uh, antenna pattern so if you know about the pattern i mean the pattern is that how how an antenna will receive the input so for example this is h2h 
means this antenna is in horizontal and the antenna which is sending the signal is also horizontal so this kind of pattern should be made and for example both are vertical then this will be a bit of there's a, a bit of change but if you see this vertical to horizontal or horizontal to vertical they are uh, quite different so again these things they are very much practical when you are doing interference analysis for a normal working of a normal antenna uh, you just have to know because we are align the antennas on on the zero i mean zero degree angle you just have to give this number that how much uh, response it will give on the zero then alignment i mean your normal um, transmission link should be prepared but it will not be good for uh, interference analysis because uh, your interference will not know that for example if there is a signal which is coming from 50 degree and how much this signal should be suppressed so that's why again i emphasize that better to uh, use the existing antenna files and not to use the not to make your own so but still uh, just to complete this i mean so i told you about file options there are file types you can convert different files and then these are curves and this is help so generally in in general this program is very simple it works very great i mean you can make any kind of equipment file you can make any kind of um, antenna file you just have to have the actual information or whatever information you want to put in it so you just need to put these uh, rows you have to put the numbers and then you just have to save it and it will start working you can import it in path loss and uh, it will be working fine so i hope that uh, this video should give you some idea uh, you know i don't want to make any video very very longer because uh, no one has a lot of time so i hope that this video gives you some very good basic idea about how this thing can be done and still if you need any specific question or any detailed answer about something that you can again comment on this video and i will be responding to you so see you uh goodbye